let us come back and do this famous question in your colligative property so let's see this particular question is again your ncrt question but very interesting numerical this is a combination of all the formulas together yes let's see this question there is okay heptane and octane form an ideal solution it seems okay done they obey raoult's law so they form an ideal solution at 373 kelvin the vapor pressure of two liquid components is so and so given to us done what will be the vapor pressure of the mixture of heptane and octane so most important thing i have to find out first of all let us see what to find out you you, you are supposed to find out vapor pressure of mixture that is your p total this is what you have to find out so what did we what do we know p total is already we have derived it is equal to pa plus pb done what is pa equal to your vapor pressure of the solution is equal to p naught s into or p naught a into x a if i have to speak in terms of b this is your formula okay done let's come back again for finding out <coughs> this particular x quantity mole fraction of x a is equal to na by na plus n b for b it is the same story but only thing is you write n b in the numerator okay done for finding out number of moles i have to always take weight by molecular weight let it be for a or let it be for b n a or n b both the formulas are the same why did i write all this because they've asked me to find out this quantity but this quantity is again related this quantity is again related to the, the, all these formulas now let us see what what data is given to us so here <coughs> first of all let us take divide the board into two one is for heptane and the other is for octane so let's start from this basic one then gradually go up first i have to write or calculate number of moles that is na for calculating number of moles this is your formula what is the weight given for heptane it is given as 26 grams what is the molecular weight given 100 grams for octane weight given is 35 grams molecular weight is 114 grams done let's come back and do the first one it's easy so when i solve this 26 by 100 comes back to 0.26 let's come back and solve this nb is equal to 35 by 114 i get 0.307 this is done so my work the solving this part is over let's come back and solve mole fraction so when i have to solve mole fraction for this x a is equal to n a by n a plus n b what is n a n a is 0.26 what is again n a 0.26 what is n b i got 0 0.307 when i solve this i get an answer of 0 0.458 that's for heptane let's solve for octane why are we doing all this because i have to come and solve get this answer p mixture they asked me see here vapor pressure of mixture done let us solve for xb xb is equal to nb by nb plus na what is nb you got 0 0.307 divided by 0 0.307 plus 0 0.26 when i solve this i get an answer of 0.542 okay i am done with this formula also now let's come back and solve the next formula what is the next formula i have to do because i have to take to calculate the p total so let's come back so p a is equal to p naught a into x a here p b is equal to p naught b into x b in this case rather otherwise it is for pure solvent water so what is p naught a given to us here in the mixture just see they have given 2p the vapor pressure of liquid components 105 so for, for heptane p naught a given is 105.2 kilopascals for octane given is 46.8 kilopascals this is given to us now substitute this here your p naught a value is 105.2 your xa value which you got is 0.458 correct now let's come back and write for pb what is p sorry p not b p not b given value is 46.8 into what is your xb value which you got 0.542 when you solve this answer you get an answer of 
48.18 kilopascals unit for your pressure next one is um, okay i can also do in this way i think no one one minus that also we can do okay not a problem here when i solve i get an answer of 25.36 kilopascals okay i'm almost close completing the numerical i've got pa and pb so p total i can calculate isn't it this is also over let's come back and calculate p total that is what they have asked me to do so p total is equal to pa plus pb pa i got it as 48.18 plus your 25.36 when i to add this finally i get an answer of 73.54 that is your total vapor pressure so do it systematically write what what formulas are required see what what is given to you and finally finish up the answer